Hello, I'm Roger Hollenby. In this presentation, I'm going to be covering some of the performance enhancements in our version 18 software. As well as ensuring our pre and post processing software supports the full functionality of LS Dyna, one of our key goals is based around performance. Back at version 15, we set ourselves a target of being able to support models of up to 100 million elements across our full suite of software, even though the largest models we were seeing from customers was an order of magnitude less than this. Our goal is not just being able to read and display models of this size, but it also includes the interactive experience the user has when working with these large models. Over the last few releases, we have been optimizing and tuning commonly used features, and this work has continued in version 18. Within Primer, being able to both read and write large models quickly is very important, as users might be working on multiple models during the same day. This graph shows the performance improvements we have made since version 14, in both reading and writing a large 44 million element model. In version 18, we have further increased the read speed over version 17 by between 5 and 10%, with larger models showing the best performance increases. Another very commonly used feature in Primer is model checking. The time taken to check a model is very dependent on both the LS Dyna features used and the size of the model. This graph shows the time taken to check six different models in different versions of our software from version 15 through to the latest version 18. In all six models, you can see that further improvements have been made between version 17 and 18. In particular, in version 18, we identified a bottleneck in the checking of contact definitions, and this has been considerably speeded up in version 18. As you can see, for the model labelled Many C, which contains a lot of contact definitions, the checking time has been more than halved since version 17. In version 17 of D3 plot, a lot of the code used to draw contour plots was rewritten and optimised to reduce the time taken to redraw images when the user interacted with them to carry out operations like dynamic viewing, blanking and picking. And we managed to achieve speed ups of between 300 and 600 percent depending on the model. These speed ups also applied to the playback of animations once they had been created. Having optimised the redraw speed of contour plots, it allowed us to identify another performance issue, which we have resolved in version 18. To show this, I'm going to do a demo where I compare the performance of version 17 with the new version 18 software. Here in version 17, we have a relatively small 2.2 million element model. If I start to interact with the model, and dynamically rotate it, zoom it, or pick items to blank them, then you can see the response is almost instant as the screen updates. If I swap to a contour plot, in this case a resultant velocity, and carry out similar operations, and again you can see that rotation, zooming, blanking is almost instant. If, however, I swap to a vector plot of velocity arrows, then the performance becomes quite slow. If we now try to rotate the model, it becomes quite jumpy. Similarly, if I try and zoom, the screen jumps as it and picking items is also quite slow to blank them. If I now swap to version 18 and carry out a similar set of operations, and you'll see that once again in shaded mode, the performance is almost instant for blanking, rotation, or zooming. Again, for a contour plot, the response to all input is almost instant. If, however, now I swap to a velocity vector plot, you'll see that performance has hardly changed from the contour plot. And now I can interact with a model much better and see the updates as I pick and select things.
If we now compare the regional times for vector plots for the same three models, which vary in size from 2 to 15 million elements, then the changes in version 18 have resulted in speed ups of between 20 and 25 times and have greatly enhanced the usability of vector plots for large models. In addition to the enhancements I've covered, there are lots of places within all of the software packages where we have improved performance in version 18 compared to version 17. Some of these improvements are quite small, in some cases only a few percent, and are difficult to measure, but combined together, these improvements can become significant to the user. As we develop future releases and updates, we will continue this process of identifying and eliminating other bottlenecks and to improve the performance of existing features. As we find our customer model sizes continue to grow, we will reassess our goals to ensure that they stay ahead of our customers' requirements. I would like to say thank you for your attention. If you have any questions on this or anything else, please do not hesitate to contact us for more information.